When we import an external CAD file into star CCM plus, there are certain methods to import them. These methods are known as import mode. The import mode option determines whether the surface data file or files are imported as regions or as geometry parts. If you only have a few bodies and do not want to maintain hierarchical assembly of parts, then importing the data as regions is probably more efficient. However, if you have dozens of bodies and want to organize them in their assemblies for future reference, then using the parts option would be better. If we want to avoid complexities in importing CAD files, we have to carefully select the import mode. There are many surfaces in the imported CAD file which have to define as boundaries later on in the CFD model. Now, if we import the CAD files as it is without any import method, everything in the model will be imported as it was in the CAD software. There will be no categorization of different surfaces. If this happens, we will have to manually separate each and every entity later in star CCM plus to prepare our CFD model. We can avoid all this by using the boundary mode option while importing. When you select the create new region option for import mode, you have to select the boundary mode. This will control how different surface patches that have been identified in surface file are imported into star CCM plus. Also, how these patches are converted into boundaries. A patch is a part of the surface that has been tagged in some way to be different from the rest. For example, it has been assigned a different cell type or family name. Up to three different boundary mode options are present. Let us discuss them one by one. First is the one boundary per cell type, property ID or solid, which is default. This option results in different boundaries being created for each cell type, property ID or solid, depending on the input file type. For the database and cell, Vertex, Input Formats, the Combined Boundaries by Name option is on by default. This option is also available to allow cell tables with the same name to be automatically combined during import if desired. Second is One Boundary per Group. This option results in a different boundary being created for each group. A group specifically refers to cell table grouping that was defined previously in the ProStar or ProSurf pre-processing software from CD Adapco. The third option is one boundary for all cell types, property ID or solid. This option results in only one boundary being created regardless of the initial number of cell types, property ID, solid definitions. In all the above situations, the original patch definition in the import surface can be used later to edit the boundary definitions further with the split boundary by patch option. Additionally, when importing pro star database or cell, vertex, input files, if the one boundary per cell type option is selected for boundary mode, then the combined boundaries by name toggle is available. Activating this option combines any boundaries that have the same name. Star CCM Plus automatically assigns boundary types when a mesh is imported. Let us discuss the region mode option for CAD import. The region mode determines how the regions are created based on the input data. The option is displayed when importing surfaces as regions and under the following conditions. Two or more surface mesh files are selected. One or more neutral format or native CAD data files are selected. When importing multiple surface mesh files, two different options are provided for region mode. One region per file. 
This option results in one region being created for each separate input file. The region name that is used matches the file from which it came. One region for all files which is default. This option only creates one region for all the files. In this instance, an additional option to combine patches across files is provided to group any duplicate patch definitions in each file into the same boundary. The default settings does not combine the patches. The patch combine option is not provided in the case of STL files. When importing neutral format or native CAD data files, we find below two options. First is the one region per body. This option results in one region being created for each body that is contained in the input file. Second is one region for all bodies. This option creates one region for all bodies that are contained in the file. In addition to the above, if multiple files are selected, then the one region per file option is also available. Now that we have seen the region mode, let us see the part mode import option. The part mode option is available when importing surface mesh files and determines the way geometry parts are created based on the underlying surface description. The option is displayed when importing surfaces as parts and under the following conditions. A single STL file which has .stl extension or a database file which has .dbs extension or a jt open file which has a .jt file extension. It is also available when two or more surface mesh files are selected. Three different options are provided for the part mode depending on the above selections. One part. This option results in only one part being created from the surface file which is applicable when a single STL, database or JT open file has been selected. One part per file. This option results in a new part being created for each input file which is applicable when two or more surface mesh files have been selected. One part per body. This option results in a new part for each underlying body that is contained in surface mesh file or files. The exact definition of body is given below for each surface mesh file type. There is also the surface mode. The surface mode option is available when importing surface mesh files and determines the way individual part surface nodes are created for a geometry part. The option is displayed when importing surfaces as geometry parts. Depending on the surface mesh file type being imported, up to three different options are available. One surface per body. This option results in a surface node for each body that is contained in the file. One surface per group. This option results in a surface node for each group. The term group is dependent on the file type. One surface for all bodies. This option results in only one surface node being created for the file.